whatever you do, don't be boring. Take every day as it is. Evaluate x equals 4 and y equals 1 every day that you possibly can. So what I have here is a mathematical uh, expression. Actually, it's an algebraic expression uh, to be even more exact. What we have is 3 times a number minus y, uh, minus another number squared, right? That's, so that was an uh, algebraic um, expression and that we just uh, translated into a verbal sentence. So what I need to do is when evaluating them, there's a couple things. Now, at first when I said three times a number, I didn't know the value of the number. And then I said minus another number, I didn't know the value of that number. But now, I'm telling you what those values are. So you're like, okay, cool. That means the hard part's over with. Now I know the values, so what I can do is I can plug in those values. So when you plug in values, make sure you use parentheses. And that black marker didn't work. So I'm not going to use color coding to make it nice and pretty, but what I will do is I'll put parentheses around my values. And it's so important to put those around there because when you have multiplication um, with them or, or when you're using your exponents, you've got to remember what you're, what you're taking, uh, what you're multiplying by or what you're taking the square or the um, raising the power to. So here I plugged a 4 in for the x and I plugged a 1 in for the y. It's very easy for me to see that's what I did. Um, and now you can see the reason why I left it because in parentheses is 3 times a, three times a number we just put the 3 times a variable we just put them next to each other. But when I'm multiplying 3 times a number I got to leave them, I got to either use a multiplication symbol or I got to put a parenthesis between them. So this tells me to multiply. 3 times 4 is going to be 12 minus well, 1 in parentheses, I don't need to put, keep that in the parentheses. I can just do minus 1 squared. So then I do 12 minus 1, which is 11 squared. 11 squared is 121. As we talked about squaring our numbers, we've got to have those memorized, right? Right? Told you that. Keep those going. There you go.